all a good morning and welcome to AM News. Thank you for having us. <laughs> no, fantastic. Now, by all accounts, uh, this last weekend you've had a, a pretty good, uh, pretty good tournament. Yeah. Desiree? Yeah, well, it was absolutely outstanding. The, the, the tournament, as you may or may not remember, was actually conceived last year in an attempt to raise some funds towards sending the national team to New Zealand for the World Championships. I was actually a little bit inspirational in that conception, and I never in my wildest dreams believed it would become an annual event for disability, as it has become. But more importantly than the annual event just for disability, is that it's become a transformational event, in that we have got a rainbow, but not like the rainbow nation of just black and white in South Africa. This is a rainbow that for us is the rainbow of age, it's a rainbow of ability, it's a rainbow of color, it's a rainbow of race, creed, anything you can think of. Every color of the rainbow represents an aspect of the competition for us. Um, the age range in this particular competition, our youngest bowler was 18, our eldest, oldest bowler was 85. We had several uh, black bowlers, we had the team that won the competition last year, making an appearance again, but without the father who was representing the country elsewhere. So it was his son and, I don't know, are you brothers? Are you brothers or friends? No, just a friend. <laughs> anyway, and um, we had several people from the church that operates on our premises with uh, black bowlers, and the pastor himself was playing. And, so um, by, by the sounds of it, it's, it definitely was definitely inclusive. You, like, like I had in my very next question, which was going to be like, it was all mixed races, mixed ages. And you've actually just covered that uh, succinctly uh, yeah. from, uh, from what you've just said. Everybody was there. And, and I saw videos as well because we ran the story over the weekend right. and uh, everybody seemed to be having fun. They were having enormous fun. We had music. The whole time we had music. We had raffles. We had draws. We had food endlessly flowing thanks to the good grace of this gentleman sitting next to me they donated an enormous amount of food we I'm had sponsors talking about donations i want to be coming to that just now i just okay. want to check do you know yet how much money you made because last year it was very very specific cause i do remember definitely talking to you about it uh, it was just before uh, the team went over to new zealand and went on to win the world cup which was fantastic uh, was. came back with uh, several gold medals and uh, overall winners as well yep what was the money for this time and do you know how much you made already Okay, well, last year we only made 12,500 towards our trip. This year we are sitting nearly on 30. Wow. So we, this is an incredible improvement. And last year we only had three black bowlers. This year we had 11. Okay, let's talk black bowlers. Johnny, love okay. you. Uh, you are here because you, are, you won last year. You won the Akuma trips last year, didn't you? Yes, we did. Fantastic stuff. Now, you're also a green creeper. I'm a green creeper, yes. How did you start? Uh, I was starting just because I'm working on the green sexually, but that time I was not even interested in to play balls mm -hmm. because they were just watching when they just bowling. All of them, that is why I was uh, old people actually. That is why I didn't even get interested, but I just working on the greens, preparing everything. But uh, uh, our club members, they just encouraged me to come and join us to play balls. That is why I'm starting to play balls. I think now, right now, but almost nine years or over nine years. Oh, that's almost balls. a decade of doing it. I was about to ask when exactly it is that you started. So around about 20, uh, rather uh, 2006, around there? No, I think... 2007, uh, it's about 10 years ago, if it's about uh, nine years that you've been nine, playing. Nine or ten. That's, that's pretty yeah. good. And uh, was it the first time that you actually won the, the, the trips last year? No, we, we started to, uh, to win the Cumula last year. Because it was, it was the, the first year? It was the first year to, to just to put us the, our team there to start to playing uh, at, at the Cumula. See. Can I ask you this? Um, one of the things that's, that I find interesting is that uh, the big story in South African sports is transformation, right? You won last year. Do you feel like you're being done any favors? Do they give you any favors for you to win the tournament last year? No, they didn't. <laughs> we just waiting for ourselves. We because the reason I ask is, is because a big part of transformation in sports, as everybody knows, who's South African, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people who are, who, who are black, who play sports that are formerly white, uh, they're called quota players. They're, called, uh, they're in there because they're black. But you won it uh, fair and square or your own skill? Yeah, we win by fair and square. All right, very good. Very good. Without Philip, favors. 
No, very good. I, I'm glad to hear you say that. You're looking me straight in the face and you're saying it. Like, you know, you can see the man, um, he's feeling confident in his own abilities. Philip, you are with Acubino. Yes. And you are the main sponsor and have been since last year. We're the main sponsor of three tournaments, in fact. Wow. And this is the third one that we've got involved in. And this one is the most transformed in the sense. But what we're trying to do is transform the game holistically so that we've got a vehicle around fundraising and so on. Uh, our main tournament, we actually raised 568,000 Rand for Pink Drive, the cancer we support. So we're taking bowls, it's a Cinderella sport. It has a perception of being an old man's game. Uh, we're trying to get the youngsters, but we're trying to transform across gender groups, across race groups and so on. We need to get young people. We need to pass our old skills onto the youngsters. Very good. Now, I'd like to find out from you, in, in, from, from your point of view, what is the return of, of investment in investing in something like bowls for you? As a well, well, we're a small company, so we can't afford to get involved with cricket and rugby. Those are well taken care of. So bowls is a Cinderella sport. We're a smaller company. We said, let's attach our brand to that. And for us, it's a complete branding exercise. We just want our name accumulate to get out there. The return on investment and all marketing, all advertising takes a while to come through. But it's beginning to happen. Um, last year in the ordinary bowls, the national, uh, the men's winners, actually one wearing our Cumulo shirts. So it's that kind of involvement that takes time to come through. Uh, we're involved with, we have been involved with bowls now for five years. So it's, we're taking a long-term view on this. And uh, having raised 568,000 rand for the pink drive, that's, that's, no, that's no mean feat? No, it's no mean feat. Uh, over the last three years, we've raid, raised in excess of 1 million rand for pink drive. So oh. uh, it, it's our commitment in using the vehicle of bowls uh, to get our brand in and to raise funds around it. It's a little bit easier when you've got an event to actually ask people for money. Uh, if you've got no event, people don't want to give. Yeah, come arriving cap in hand and, uh, yes. and trying to see if they'll <laughs> and, buy into it. fundraising is not easy. I can imagine not. Well, how, what sort of uh, involvement are you looking at as a cumulo? Over what period in terms of your investment in the sport? Are you looking at a three-year period, ten-year period? What are you looking at? Well, I look at it my own age. I think I've got another two years of work left in me, so probably another two years, and that would give us seven years in total. And by then, the fruit should be coming through. And I also need to hand over to a younger person at some stage. No, very good, very good. Desiree, uh, in terms of uh, all the things that uh, we've been speaking about since you first started coming to studio and chatting with me, one of the things that actually stood out has been how successful Bowls has been in terms of winning competitions, um, earning South Africa bragging rights wherever uh, <laughs> Lawn Bowls goes, uh, goes to uh, compete. Uh, what do you have next? What's up next in the next six months or so? I'm not sure about the next six months, but certainly, um, you know, disability, first of all, let me tell you, is divided into physically disabled, and then we also have the visually impaired bowlers, and we all come under the same one banner at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So in May next year, we have an international triangular event where South Africa are going to play against Scotland and Israel in Israel. Mm -hmm. And there are definitely one or two players that will need sponsoring to get across there. That's from the visually impaired people. Mm -hmm. And then by 2017, we are hoping to have a either quintangular or quadrangular international event coming to South Africa, where we hope to play against New Zealand and Australia, as well as England and Scotland. Um, the reason I specify those countries is from the world championships that we've just recently returned, they seem to be sort of in the top four, top five. And I'm very proud to say that South Africa in disability are ranked number one in the world, both in physical and in visually impaired. That's a hand clap moment for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, very good. Yeah. So I think that's where we're going at the moment. We're also looking to develop a master's competition uh, locally. Um, and just spread through all the provinces and all the various ranges. Um, just this morning, funnily enough, I was involved with people who've got cerebral palsy. Oh. Because uh, Derek Lobin, who played in the Commonwealth Games, he suffers from cerebral palsy and he came back with a gold medal. Mm -hmm. We do have several others who have cerebral palsy. So, yeah. No, very good. <laughs> no, Johnny, before we wrap up, uh, I've got a few seconds I've got left with uh, the three of you. I want to give you a uh, last word. What happens with you now? You won, the, you won, you won it last year. Are you going to be traveling? Are you going to be going to, um, to any of these tournaments? Uh, and if so, what is it that you're doing to plan and get ready for it? 
No, right now uh, it's not to say I'm going to go with them to play for Akimula. Akimula, all, all the most is for the disability people. Mm -hmm. We're just raising the fund for them. So what are you doing next? Which, which tournament are you gearing up for next? Uh, next, I think, is going to be national. National? Yeah, and when is that? South Africa, South Africa, what are they calling it? National South Africa. Okay. Is the team that is going to be, we have to, to just to... Go Getting ready for it. the Commonwealth Games as well, which are coming up in 2018, I'm sure. And Commonwealth Games, I'm not ready because the one who can be ready is Morgan Movango, is the one who can, I can tell you right now, is the one who I'm working with him. Okay. He's from Zambia as well. He's going to go to Australia. He's the one who can, who can get yes. through there. All right. Because it's a springbok, actually. No, oh, very good. Yeah, very mine, good. I'm still young. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Now, I want to thank you very much, Johnny, for coming through. Philip, I really appreciate uh, the work that you're doing as a cumulant and building up the sport and, and making it inclusive and forward-looking. And, Desiree, once again, uh, great work. <laughs> Can I tell you just one thing? is that the winners of this year's competition were actually our under-19 and under-25 provincial squad. Wow. They actually ended up as the final winners of our rainbow trips, of our Cumula rainbow trips. Fantastic. So that was a real boost for our youngsters getting yes. into the game. Oh, very good, very good. All right, <laughs> now, there Thanks, you have it. Kendall. There you have it, lawn balls in the mix, doing what uh, a lot of other sports wish they were doing already. Now, that was our lawn balls, our Philip, uh, Desiree, and Johnny talking to us about all of that. We'll be back with more news. Stay tuned.